Today we will talk about Hermitian matrices. In a complex system, various four types of the matrix is one that is equal to its own conjugated transport. We call such kind of matrix Hermitian. We can recognize Hermitian matrices by inspection. To see this, consider the two by two matrix. We can get A a join. If A equal A join, then A2 and D2 have to be zero, and C1 equal B1, C2 equal negative B2. We can obtain the new form of A. Please note that elements on main diagonal of A are real, and the A i j is the conjugate of A j i. Let's do a quiz. It's not so hard as a midterm, I guess. Questions: Which of the following matrices are Hermitian? Who wants to try it? I want to. This matrix is not Hermitian because it has an imaginary entry on its main diagonal. Right. This matrix is symmetric but not Hermitian because A one two is not the complex conjugate of A two one. Good. This matrix is Hermitian. Great. This matrix is Hermitian because all real symmetric matrices are Hermitian. It's well done. You got maximum point. I think you will also do a good job in the coming term. Let's move on. I hope so. Quiz two: Eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Please watch the videos and answer the following questions. Here is a three-dimensional space. We define what the normal space in three directions. E1 means going straight. E2 represents making a turn. E3 stands for a jump. We can obtain a matrix from three different things. The clones of A means the velocity vector in different positions. Question: Please find the eigenvalues and the eigenvector of A and show that eigenvectors are orthogonal. I can do it. Use the MATLAB code. We can find its eigenvalue and eigenvector matrix. The inner product between v1 and v2 is zero. That's true for v2 and v3, v1 and v3 as well. We can see eigenvalues are real numbers. The eigenvector corresponding to distinct eigenvalues are orthogonal. One of the application of Hermitian matrix is quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, all of the physical observables such as position, momentum, energy is represented by a Hermitian matrix or Hermitian operator. Here, let's take Schrodinger equation for example. For a system represented by state phi, suppose its Hamiltonian is h hat, then the Schrodinger equation is h hat times phi equal to e times phi. Phi is the eigenstate of the system, and e is the corresponding eigenvalue. This is identical to the characteristic equation in our lecture. Actually, Hamiltonian is the energy of the system, and it is a Hamiltonian matrix, so its eigenvalue e is always real. The eigenvalue is the observables that you can measure through the experiment. Is consistent with our experimental result since we never measure a complex value. This is an important principle in quantum mechanics. Let's see a specific example: the hydrogen atom. A hydrogen atom has a proton in the center and an electron bound to the nucleus by the Coulomb force. Let's represent the position of the electron with respect to the nucleus by a vector r. Then the electron's Hamiltonian can be expressed as a kinetic energy plus Coulomb potential energy. It is easy to prove that H is a Hermitian operator. Then we can write out the Schrodinger equation with E as the eigenvalue or the eigen energy level of hydrogen atom. The solution to this equation is interesting. We call it hydrogen spectrum. As you can see, eigenvalue of E or energy level of hydrogen atom is discrete. When electron transits from a high energy level to a low energy level, it emits a photon whose energy is equal to the difference between two levels. By other optical equipment, we can clearly observe this light. 